Hello Quentin. Hello Katia. Quentin, can you share with us what is your vision for 2022 from a pure business point of view? Well, I see three points. The first one, this year is a year where our priority will be set on delivering our promises to our customers. Many customers are putting their trust into our capacity to bring to mass production our optical cover glass solutions, our glass trims, and our vision glazing solutions for lighter sensors. Our focus will be on our operations, on the competitiveness of our industrial footprint. Second, this year is also a year to confirm our go-to-market. Our current customers confirm that we have the right products for the emerging market of optical sensors integration for ADAS and autonomous vehicles. It's then the time to expand, to grow, and to deliver our value to more and more customers, also by being able to capture global business by consolidating our footprint in Europe, Asia, and US. It will also be key, as technological frontrunner, to be able to diversify and to stay agile towards the market needs which is still in the face of structuration and disruptive innovation. And finally, our ambition to become a solution provider will take a new term, with OMs willing to simplify their value chain, which trusts us more and more to help them develop a system-level solution. And from an organization perspective? Well, again, I would say three things. The context is complex. The declining pandemic, which resumes a certain growth, which is now threatened again by the war. Anyway, our business is still growing. It is going to be key for our corporate startup to fuel its growth by acquiring more and more talents inside our team. This growth will need to be managed while protecting our key asset as a team, our mindset. Newcomers to our organization should follow intensive immersion activities to make sure the integration in this exciting environment is smooth. Second, it is also key for a corporate startup to be able to work on its processes, which will be the foundation of a successful scale-up, but also to leverage more and more the synergies that we have with our mother company, AGC. More than ever, a symbiosis will need to be installed where AGC provides us key assets required by our business model. While we are able to act as a change agent towards AGC, preparing it for the mobility disruption with new competitiveness keys. And to finalize, we need to stay ourselves. Let's not forget that the pandemic put a huge stress on our collective intelligence. And we need to cultivate the wider spirit more than ever, which could be summarized by, we work a lot, but we have even more fun. Thank you, Quentin. Thank you.